So good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about some aspects of the use of ozone with respect to, in particular, dental caries, cavity preparation, root canal therapy, and I mentioned in this morning's lecture I was also going to talk about bleaching, so I've also included some bleaching. So we're going to talk about those aspects in particular. I mentioned also this morning giving a, a plug for uh, my university, which is Warwick University, and we are the third best university in the UK, the United Kingdom. The uh, first two universities are Oxford and Cambridge, and Warwick University is third. I've got leaflets with me, which I'll give out to you regarding our master's degree, and end up with our master's degree to um, which you do by distance learning. So we have lots of people from the US, from all around the world, doing our master's degree on a distance learning basis. So I'll give out that flyer and I'll give my emails at the end. And please feel free if you want more information on our different master's degrees, whether they're implantology, restorative dentistry, aesthetic dentistry, um, or uh, um, other aspects, endodontics, we're more than, more than happy to, to send this uh, to you. I've been told to stop moving around too much so that George can get, uh, get, get the video done without me moving all over the place. So I'm going to have to stay in this position and do what I'm told for a change. There are different ozone systems that we have available. And I'm going to mention the ones which, which we use. We use the uh, Helazone system which is available from a company called Curazone. It, it delivers gas inside the cup, so that's delivered inside the cup, and will only release the ozone when the cup is sealed. It's an advantage there's no ozone release in the air. It's a disadvantage in the sense that sometimes you cannot achieve a seal. The system is presented in that manner, as I say, it's now supplied by Curazol. We also have the uh, biozonic system, which as you've seen in the previous presentation, delivers by the uh, uh, plasma method, delivers the ozone directly at the uh, tip of the instrument, and there's a whole variety of different instruments which you can use to deliver the ozone. I believe we're going to have a small session later where you can play with this device. We also use the system from Los Angeles. It's a system made in the, uh, completely made in the USA, and it's a system called Therazone, and that we use for our main supply of ozonated water. So we're putting this into the dental unit water lines. We're putting this into the bottles for the ultrasonic scalars. We're putting this into the bottles for the endo-ultrasonic devices for root canal irrigation. We're using that for hand washing. We're using that for washing down areas when we use large amounts of ozonated water. There's a review of ozone within the book Reality. I don't know how many of you get that book, but it's well worthwhile getting. It's a, a publication independent of all the manufacturers, and you can go into their website, and it's uh, www.realityaesthetics.com, <coughs> and there's a code which you can use which will give you an extra free month, which is EL103. When treating different cavity preparations, you will end, and, and you will always work through with your ozone system, whether it's your helazone, whether it's your biosonics, whether it's your water from your therazone, you deliver the ozone into the site of the access cavity. So what you've prepared, you then deliver that into the site 
in order for you to then carry out the dentistry in the usual way. And you're well familiar that you always build with posterior composite resins, the marginal ridge areas first. So diagrammatically, if you look in particular at the diagram, if I get the thing correct, it's there, you're always building this portion first, curing it, you take off the matrix band, polymerize the aproximal areas completely, and then, only then, do you proceed to fill the other inner parts of the cavity. So this is what the evidence-based work has shown us to place very successful posterior composite resins, ozone on the cavity preparation first, secondly build the aproximal portions and convert them into class one cavities, and then proceed to building the remaining increments for highly successful posterior composite resins. It makes our life a lot easier, and ozone makes the cavities much more conservative. Again, the same principle, ozone treat, build these areas on the side walls first, take the band off, and then build a composite resin in a very simple manner inside the tooth with a, for a highly predictable technique. Again, all these preparations where you can see the caries undermining the cusps in these areas, considerable caries around the amalgam restorations, what we always do is remove all the caries on the periphery. We leave one millimeter of caries over the focal floor. We ozone treat that deep caries to eliminate the bacteria. And then we proceed with the restoration. And what it allows us to do with very simple and very rapid composite resin restorations is have a smaller volume of the cavity because we've disinfected the caries over the pulp. We've been more conservative. We have less post-operative sensitivity, less leakage, less staining, less focal problems, and overall a more successful restoration. So every cavity preparation should receive ozone treatment. And say you have your choices with uh, elazone, um, uh, biosonics and hydrotherosone, uh, uh, whichever method you're going to go and choose to use to deliver your ozone. Again, the deeper part of the cavity to receive the ozone and leave one millimeter of caries over the floor and then proceed with your simple composite resin to give you a much more successful result because effectively your cavity is smaller as you've left caries in the deeper part of the cavity. With pit and fissure caries, it's more difficult. We have to be aware of what we're watching if we are watching them. And we have to know if there's caries within the fissures or not. Clearly, all too often, we do not diagnose or detect this correctly. There are various tools that can help us. The Diagnodent from Cable has been around a long time and is a good device. I think there are better ones now available, such as the Cario Scan, which does impedance measurements as well as of the laser and fluorescence. But these devices are useful and worthwhile having to help us, especially with patients we're treating with ozone. We want to manage those lesions, record if they affect dentine or not, and then proceed with the usual preventive strategies. And the usual preventive strategies includes using products that are particularly helpful with remineralization, one of which is the GC tooth boost with the um, casein phosphopeptide, amorphous calcium phosphate. Another is the product that Curazone produce called Helazone, which is a super saturated solution of calcium, phosphate, zinc, fluoride, and xylitol. And another excellent one is from the UK from a company called Janina, which again has got all of these super saturated calcium and phosphate, zinc, xylitol, fluoride, but in addition contains another nine other ingredients, including two different peroxides. So these are useful for remineralization. So all the patients will get not just ozone, 
But in addition, they will get a full preventive philosophy to carry all this through.